Today I'm heading over to Sugarland to check out the Filipino Street Festival. If y'all didn't know, October is Filipino American History Month, so this is the perfect time for this festival. All right, guys, we're here to the FYP Filipino Street Festival over here in Constellation Field. We're gonna check out what they have. I think I'm gonna spend like 50 bucks here to see what I could get. I don't know. There seems to be like other food other than Filipino food, but we'll see right now. There's a ton of people here, Constellation Field. Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Marita. Uh, I own Patis and Toyo. We are in Katy, uh, in the Katy Asian Town area. Uh, we offer authentic Filipino food. We're open every day from 9 a.m. serving Filipino breakfast. So if you're craving for Filipino breakfast to original Filipino and authentic Filipino food, we have them right there. And what, what do you have here today? Well, we had a whole lot of uh, dishes prepared from... We had <laughs> menudo, we had uh, bistec tagalog, we had beef caldereta, we have pork barbecue skewers, chicken skewers, shrimp skewers. We have uh, also the classic um, uh, lumpang Shanghai. We have the meat and the vegetables. This is our first time joining here and we're very excited. It turned out to be a really good one. All right guys, so I got some stuff from Batiste and Toyo over in uh, Katy, Asia, Katy, Asia, whatever. But this is menudo over here. This is of course lumpia. They actually ran out of rice at the Filipino festival, so there's no rice. We'll give this a try. Let's give the, uh, this is the vegetable one. Let's give it a try. Whenever you eat Filipino food, or whenever I do, it brings me back to like Filipino parties. And that's what that brings me back to. This is the lumpia, pork lumpia. Nice, tiny, crunchy. It's also good. And then let's try the menudo. Menudo has liver, which is not my favorite, but we'll give it a taste. If this had rice, it'd be up a notch, but there's no rice. So, good stuff. Thumbs up, we'll see what else we can get over here. This is 15 bucks, so. I have another 35 bucks to spend. That's what I said. I spent $50 because Boma Foodie can't be doing those $100 challenges. So you might be wondering, just like me, how did this Filipino street festival start? I decided to stop one of their members from the Filipino Young Professionals and ask them how this festival got its start. Uh, this event, I don't know if you remember, Typhoon Haiyan. It was a, a very major catastrophe that happened in the Philippines. Filipino Young Professional decided to uh, hold a fundraising, a garage sale. They gathered all donations from the community and everybody else and supported the garage sale. And it was a success. We were able to raise like $5,000 and donate to Red Blood to help Typhoon Haiyan. The following year, we decided to do a, what we call Salamat event. It was in November. And uh, basically it was our way of giving thanks to the community, FYP friends and family who supported us in our fundraising effort for Typhoon Haiyan. Then we decided it evolved into a street festival. And that's, that was what, back in 2014? And now, here we go. We are over here in Sugarland, and it's still going strong. And I love it because it's like the whole Filipino community within Houston and it's supposed to be the second largest Filipino festival in the South. That's really awesome, I love it. All right, we're looking around to see what kind of food they have next for me. They're running out of food. We got here a little bit late. I thought it'd be Filipino time and I'd be early, but uh, they're running out of food. So hopefully this place has rice. That's what I want. Now that I had food with meat, I want some rice. I'm also known as Empress Aloe Vera on Instagram, and this is my business called Datu Kuti. Um, it's all original art, so I draw everything, I print everything, and I'm here selling everything. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, Filipino and Pakistani oriented streetwear because I'm Filipino and Pakistani. So it's a way to connect with your roots on a casual level, um, just making it mainstream to wear Filipino clothes.
All right, so I got some barbecue sticks from Guacalinga. If you don't know what they do, they make uh, villages over in the Philippines, so really good thing. So let's try out the barbecue pork right here. I got three of them. There's three of us here. Let's try it. Sweet. Seasoned well. Good stuff. All right, guys, so I'm over here at the Filipino festival and I gotta get boba because you're at an Asian festival. So I got two of them. This is the Vietnamese iced coffee and this is the Thai tea. We'll give them each a taste. Surprisingly, the boba is still really nice and chewy here. Good stuff, Thai tea. This one's good, super strong, could use a little more condensed milk. This is buy one, get one free. This is the end of the night, and they're trying to get rid of their stock, so lucky me. Buy one, get one free. All right, so we are over here at Be More Specific. They sell some banana ketchup. The story behind banana ketchup is that, you know, in the Philippines, sometimes they couldn't get the real ketchup, so they decided to make their own ketchup from bananas, so. This is what we're gonna try out. And they have a special spicy banana ketchup that they're going off of like the OG kind of banana ketchup that we all know from the stores. So we'll see which one is better. Is it gonna be the stuff that we get from the stores or this one, this banana ketchup right here. We'll see which one is better. Guys, I'm here with Gio. He has some uh, special ketchup. Well, tell, tell us about it. Yeah, uh, for sure. So, uh, so we're Be More Pacific. We started as a food truck in 2011 in Austin, Texas. Um, and you know, with our Filipino food truck, you know, we started off with tacos and sliders, but you know, we, for condiments, we had like sriracha, banana ketchup, soy sauce, you know, Maggie sauce out there. And so like 95% of our clientele were not Filipino. And they were like, you know, and this was like almost everybody's like, you know, what the hell is banana ketchup? And they'll taste it. They're like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. And next thing you know, they're putting on everything, right? Yeah. And so we're like, okay, so let's create our own recipe. So a couple months later, we bottle up our own recipe. Uh, we've been making this since uh, for like 12 years now. So. Awesome. And so it's, uh, it's, it's uh, we use natural, all natural, even the colors is all natural, uh, which is from uh, purple carrot extract. So do y'all use the real regular banana or like a plantain? Regular banana. Regular so banana. regular banana, um, yellow onion, uh, brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, uh, you a little cinnamon, secret all right the secret. Here. You just gotta figure it out, you know? <laughs> all right, oh, so yeah. I'm gonna do the challenge. I'm okay. gonna see which one tastes better. Gotcha. The other guys are bananas, ketchup, we'll see. I, I, I'm excited. Usually I put banana ketchup on like chicken. Like yeah. that's what that's one of my favorite thing to do. Okay, so this is A. I'm gonna this, give you A and B. Uh, this is A. Very spicy. Very familiar too. Right, this is this is B. This is B. A little more rounder flavors. A little more, a little more flavorful. Maybe some cinnamon. Is there some cinnamon in there? No? Is there? Yeah, yeah. So I think I'm gonna go with B. I okay. do like I do like the B. So it's then, a little bit more different. Is this the reveal? So you got A and B? And you went with B? I went with B. Okay, gotcha. Oh, uh, I got gotcha. <laughs> and the other guy. The other guy. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay, awesome, cool. So this is a. Uh, where, where, where can they find you? Yeah, sure. Uh, so at a restaurant in, in Houston, um, uh, in the in the Heights area. Uh, online as well, and I'm working on getting in stores um, okay. and then random festivals. So. Awesome, thank yeah. you. Yeah, I appreciate it. So, right now, of course, they are doing karaoke over here on the main stage. Very Filipino over here. Uh, banana ketchup was good. You should go check it out. Do Filipinos love besides karaoke? It's line dancing, and that's what they're doing over there, having fun. I'm trying to get these barbecue. This is a long line for this barbecue, so it better be good. All right, guys. So this is like Filipino street food. Usually in the Philippines, you just dip it in here. You don't need this. Like, you would just be a community dipping sauce, but over here it's a little bit more sanitary. So, get a little bit of this. It looks like it's vinegar, sugar, all that. And then this is the stuff we got. So right here, this one is the Walkman. 
So it's called Walkman because it's the pig ear. Let's give it a taste. We'll dip it in there. Give it a taste. Got a little crunch in there. Very gelatinous. Very gelatinous. I actually don't think I've ever had this. Let's try. This one, this is the Betamax. So this is like chicken intestine. I'm not sure why they call it Betamax. But we'll have to dip this for sure. There we go. This is the chicken intestine. That's good. This one's good. I like this better than the big ear for sure. That just tastes like straight up meat. That's good. I would eat a lot of that. This one is the Adidas. So it's like. 47. So it's like, you know, the shoe. So this is the chicken feet. 47 is being called right now. So the chicken feet, very difficult to eat. Got a lot of bone. Gonna eat the skin. You just take a bite. And there's like a lot of bones in there. Pretty much eating the cartilage and the skin. Last thing we have is the quack quack. So this is the uh, egg of a quail, quail egg. Dip that in there. This is good protein right here. I think that's gonna be it for the festival. We'll talk to you outside. Alright guys, so back at my brother's house, the Filipino Street Festival was a fun time. Good to see all my Filipinos out there doing their thing, selling food, eating it, and I'm full, I'm stuffed. My favorite thing over there, probably, actually it was probably gonna be the Isao Isao, the uh, chicken intestine. That was pretty delicious. And then those lumpias, can't go wrong with lumpias. Anyways, if you guys wanna follow me in the food, make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.